Hey Vikes, we have info on the naming contest and an interview with Holocaust speaker Nancy Geis. I'm Maiden. And I'm Carson, and this is SVTV. Hey Vikes, do you like to sing and dance? Then come to the choir room at 3.30 on Monday and Tuesday for showroom choir clinics and trials for show choir will be on Wednesday. The North Slope will be open for the last time this year with end of the year deals during all lunch periods tomorrow. We're having a contest for the naming of the blending learning spaces. We went and checked it out. This summer the locker bays were renovated and were made into a more blended learning space. The school is now looking for a new name. Previously, there used to be, you know, lockers that went through here and the school took on the approach more of a blended learning space. Uh, the administration approached me after we had a student competition to name the, the school store, the North Snook, and we had a lot of student input. We had over 50 students submit ideas and we're hoping for the same type of interest for this. Um, it, it'd be student led and student generated. Other than renaming the locker bays, there are also other benefits of having the students being able to name them. It'll, it'll be permanent and it'd be nice to look back and see that your creative idea has stuck and I think it's unique to our school. If you win this school competition, you will receive a gift card provided by the school. If you are wanting to submit a name for the locker base, you can contact Mr. Tinsley on Schoology before May 11th. Make sure to email your name to Mr. Tinsley by May 11th. In order to receive your cap and gown, all fees must be paid in full or arrangements need to be made. See Mrs. Olson in the front office if you need to make payments or arrangements. If you plan on taking an AP exam, check out the bulletin on Schoology. This summer, there will be a writing camp for students interested in developing their skills as writers. The camp will take place on June 6th to the 8th from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. at the Brown versus Board of Education building. Applications are due on May 4th. Seniors will check their laptops in May 15th to the 17th. Underclassmen will do the same from May 22nd to 24th. Now over to Aiden with the sports. This summer, Flint Hills Writing Project is hosting a three-day Words Matter writing camp for high school students interested in developing their skills as a writer. Participating students will explore the importance of documenting their stories. The camp will take place on June 6th to the 8th from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. at the Brown vs. Board of Education building. Applications are due on May 4th. Spots are filling up fast, so apply soon. Are you 16 or older? Do you enjoy fishing? If so, sign up for a fishing license today with Mrs. Papescu in room 927. There are only 34 spots, so sign up quickly and get yours today. Boys Golf has a junior invitational meet at Rolling Meadows, and C Team Boys Baseball has a game at Sunny Heights. C Team's Girls Softball has a game at Silver Lake. Now to Carson with the weather. Later. Hey Vikes, let's check out the forecast today. It's currently 78 and tonight's going to be 74. Over the weekend, looking pretty nice with highs in the 80s and 70s. Today is designer's birthday and National Paranormal Day. Now back to your anchors. And most of you guys heard Nancy Geis' story about Joe and the Holocaust. Our reporter caught up Nancy and got some more information. Mr. Monaghan invited an author to speak on her book about a Holocaust survivor and how it affected her. We met at the Optimus Breakfast and Nancy did such a nice job of telling Joe's story. And then I was also purchased the book um, and was just so delighted to bring her here today for our students uh, to hear Joe's story. The author, Nancy Geis, shared Joe's story with us after he shared it with her decades after the events occurred. Joe Rubenstein is the, the, uh, the subject of my book, Auschwitz 34207. 
He's a gentleman that lives in Fort Collins, Colorado. He's a Holocaust survivor who for over 70 years never shared his story until he shared it with me. So it's been an honor to be able to, to bring his story to the world because there's such important life lessons for all of us. During the assembly, Nancy shared the importance of persistence and never giving up hope to ultimately achieve happiness. I think, you know, we all know that history has a way, have a way of repeating itself, so it's really important that we don't forget stories like the Holocaust. And it's also an important story for all of us to know that no matter what happens to us, we can be like Joe and we can choose joy. By sharing Joe's story, Nancy hopes to make sure history doesn't repeat itself and that people remember what the Holocaust was. That's it for today, Vikes. We'll see you here back next week. Sorry.